Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is the game. Jeremy McWilliams. Remember the name. Uh oh. Uh oh. What time is it? What's in the bag? Find all that out and more in two seconds. One second. Half a second. All right, maybe a couple seconds. You ready? Drum roll, please. Boom, it's ruin of 30. Let's get it. That means it's delivery time. That means, what time is it? That's, that's, that's a good question. Let's check it out. See if I plan this out good. Oh, come on, Yoda. What time is it? Do or do not, Yoda. There is no try. Come on, tell me the time. All right, 5.51. Let's get it. We're going from six to eight. I don't know where we're going. I don't know exactly what we're doing, but we're doing some type of food delivery from six to eight. That's the plan. So let's make it happen. <laughs> all right, let's, uh, let's see what we're working with. All right, first things first, you gotta check all the usual suspects, which is DoorDash comes first. And as usual, there's not much going on. Let's try out one more little refresh. All right, no DoorDash. See Uber, see if there's any promotions. Promotions, promotions. No. <laughs> Moving on. Moving right along to this guy, aka Instacart. This is all that I have on demand right now. Kiss Me is not by me. Give it one little refresh and nope. All right, see if we got any hours we can maybe log into. Monday, July 1st. Welcome to July. Oh, whoa, what is this? All right, so that's one option. We could do six to eight. We could do six to eight Instacart. Hmm, that's a possibility. Or we could do focus, focus, focus. That's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and log into Postmates while we're trying to make this decision. Go online, see if anything pops up. In the meantime, Hmm, to Instacart or not to Instacart? That is the question. First off, let's pop the top. Maybe the Runa will help me figure this uh, answer out. Mmm, yummy. Boom, pineapple. Hmm, see if the hours are even still there. Sometimes they disappear really fast. Yep, still there. All right, so we could do six to eight, I guess. I guess we'll just do that. We don't have anything else to do. I haven't done this card in a while, so boom, let's do it. It's 5.55. There you guys see, full service shopping, Sanford Winter Park, six to eight. I guess we're doing Instacart. Uh, we'll see what happens, six to eight. I don't think I've ever done it that late. I haven't done any Instacart normal shifts in quite a while. I've done Instacart on demand a little bit lately, but for the most part, that's all it's been. I have not scheduled a shift in a long time, so this should be interesting. And I think almost every single time I have scheduled a shift, it's been in the morning, because I feel like people normally want their groceries in the morning. Uh, hopefully I don't get like shopping only orders because I don't really like those too much. I'd much rather just do the delivery only orders, which means you pick up the groceries and you go drop them off at wherever the customer is located. So uh, that's what I like to do because that's a lot like food delivery. It's a lot quicker. Not really about the whole shopping for groceries thing. Doesn't seem like uh, you get paid more obviously, but obviously it also takes a lot more time. To me, it usually doesn't seem like it's worth it. So. Uh, We'll see what kind of orders pop up though. Maybe I won't have much of a choice. Like I said, I haven't done it at night before that I can remember. So uh, this should be interesting. First time, popping some cherries. Let's go, 5.56. Gotta wait four more minutes, then we're logging in. And then uh, the magic happens. <laughs> or we get orders, deliveries, batches. That's it. Thank you for the reminder, Instacart. I almost forgot. Thanks a lot. Yes. Well, looks like it's game time. Focus, six o'clock. There we go, looking for orders. We are officially logged into Instacart. Looks like I'm right next to a hotspot too, which is always nice. So, let's see how long it takes to get the first batch. You guys excited? I'm excited, I know you're excited. A little bit, hopefully. <laughs> It should be in interesting if nothing less because like I said for like the fifth time already in this video I've never done it at night so I don't know what to expect in the unknown 
it's usually exciting. I just hope, like I said, it's not all, well, first of all, I hope we get some orders, some batches, and I hope they're delivery only, because I'm not really feeling like shopping right now. We'll see what happens though. I just, actually, you guys saw me log on to Postmates. I just got a Postmates order for Hooters, but I skipped it because it came like right at six o'clock. And I didn't know if we'd get an Instacart batch right away. So, oh, what do you know? Would you look at that? Looks like we got something. Let's see what it is. Sam's Club has not look far. That looks far away. Just me or does there to there look like quite a distance? And it's full service. It's only four items, so it's not much of a full service, but that means I do have to go inside and grab them. Hmm, I'm confused. It says for Sam's Club, but you have to have a membership to Sam's Club, so how does that work? Let's try this out. Let's accept it, head over to Sam's Club, which I'm like right next to, and uh, fingers crossed, they let me make the purchase. Boom. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Let's come on, phone. Boom, boom. Let's go. Well, as you guys can tell, we made it. So uh, hopefully this goes well. Let's go find out. All right, so made it inside Sam's Club, and you guys saw I only got four items to get. But sorry, pick probably like the loudest aisle to talk to you guys, the TV aisle. Anyways, I don't know if you've ever been in a Sam's Club before, but it's like a giant warehouse, so locating these four items should be interesting. Let's do it! If you guys were a Slim Jim, where would you be located? Over here by the king? Here, Slim Jim, Slim Jim, Slim Jim. I can get some interesting looks walking around here, talking to some Slim Jims, or trying to. Oh. Oh, would you look at that? What do we have here? Target acquired. Let's make sure it's the right one. Good news, we found item number one. Bad news, still got three to go. And I don't know where I'm going. I need some dog treats, bath tissues, and sweet potatoes. All right, I'm looking for bath tissues and I think I went down the wrong aisle. If it looks like I have no idea where I'm going. That would be 100% accurate. I've been in the store like a couple times in the last couple years. America, the beautiful. All right, moving on. Well, I found the sweet potatoes, but they're not the same brand. So, I'm pretty sure this is probably the only organic sweet potatoes I have in the store. Probably gonna have to make this work. Five pound bag, that's what I'm looking for. Let's see what we can do about them. Different thing, thing. All right, two items down, two to go. Need some bath tissue and some dog food. And I see a canine furry friend right ahead of me, so I'm guessing we're probably going the right way. Pet care, huh? Down here? Huh? I think we're on to something. Boom. Three items down, one to go. Moving on to the bath tissue. What is bath tissue? Is that like Kleenex? Toilet paper, a mixture, so like Kleenex and toilet paper had a baby and out came bath tissue. Let's go find out. Dang, that's so huge. As you guys can see, I found the bath tissue. May have cheated and asked someone, but we found it nonetheless. Still counts. All right, so I'm pushing the cart out of my car right now. I haven't even dropped it off. Got the goods right there. And I can already tell you guys, Sam's Club going forward from now on is definitely a no-go. Not worth it. It took me 30 minutes to find four things. That's ridiculous. Not worth 10 bucks or 11 bucks or whatever this order's paying. And the uh, drop-off is 22 minutes away without a toll and 13 minutes with a toll. So, I don't know if Instacart pays for your tolls, but I'm gonna go ahead and take the toll road anyways. Just, I don't feel like wasting 10 more minutes when I'm already wasting way too much time and effort on a delivery that clearly isn't worth it. I've never done a Sam's Club delivery before. Uh, if you guys are interested, Instacart does provide you with membership credentials, so you don't need to be a member. 
right when you go to the uh, cashier and you get ready to pay, a little uh, Sam's Club ID pops up and then you just scan the barcode on it on your app. And that's all there is to it. But aside from that, like I mentioned, the store is absolutely massive. Not the easiest place in the world to find things, especially if you're not too familiar with it. So I would not recommend doing that. Even if it pays well, probably not worth it. It's gonna take you, unless you're Superman, it's probably gonna take you a lot longer than your average grocery store to find some items. Gosh, I can't even imagine doing a full size order there of like, you know, a lot more than four items. Probably take all day to find that. You live and you learn, guys. You live and you learn. We definitely will not be accepting any more warehouse batches. No Sam's Club, no BJ's, no Costco. I don't even know if we have those around here, but if we do, no go. Like I said, you live and you learn. Let's uh, go drop this one off. And that took 40 minutes. That uh, is... <laughs> Sam's Club one me zero or i should say instacart one me zero anyways let's, let's go drop this off all right dudes you can see it's 656 and we're just completing the first delivery major bummer anyways on to looking for some more orders hopefully we'll get order number two and hopefully we'll be better 659 now posted up at 7-eleven because another batch just came in like right after we completed the first one but check this one out seven dollars but that's not all. No tip. My phone doesn't even want to focus on this order. It's so ashamed of it. I don't blame it. And it's full service. 23 items. 31 units in all. They want me to shop for all this stuff. And then drop it off at the customer's house for 7 bucks. I cannot even emphasize how strong a pass and strong a no this is. Who would accept shopping for 23 items and delivering it? For seven dollars, that is embarrassing. And Scar, come on, you can do better than that. That's the minimum, seven bucks for a full service order. They won't pay you any less than that. Minimum plus no tip, definitely is a no go. So yeah, we're definitely not accepting that one. Let's go ahead and let the time expire. Well, we're not off to the best Instacart start, to say at least. First, I get that Sam's Club order, which, as you guys know, as I told you, I should not have accepted. You live and you learn, like I already said. When I went inside Sam's Club, I think I mentioned during a couple of those clips, I've only been in a Sam's Club maybe a couple times in the last few years, so I was not familiar at all with the store. But even if you're familiar with the store, finding four items in that huge warehouse felt like trying to find a needle in a haystack, or it felt like I was on a wild goose chase, or it felt like I was on some crazy treasure hunt, except the treasure was $10, so it wasn't really a very big treasure chest, but uh, you guys get the point not worth it i definitely took the l on that one i hate losing man i hate it i'm a competitive dude i feel like it's me versus instacart and like i said instacart's got one i definitely have zero they're trying to put up two on me you guys saw it they're trying to pull a quick one with that seven dollar order probably hoping i wouldn't notice and i would just accept it not happening instacart not happening my shift's only going till eight it's already seven we wasted an hour on an order that paid ten something <sighs> Uh, is what it is as long as you learn from your losses you can move forward and get better so that's what I do like I said I'm not accepting any more warehouse deliveries or batches or whatever you want to call it not worth it not worth it definitely not accepting the minimum with no tip so we got two orders in one hour and they've both been pretty crappy so hopefully our luck goes up from here it's starting to rain so well, don't think that's a good sign, but uh, I, feel, I feel like we hit rock bottom kind of with these batches, so I guess we can only go up from here, right? Hopefully. Anyways, I'm going to get back on the road because like I told you guys, this was like, well, I took the toll road, so it was like 12, 13 minutes away. I'm going to head back to where I was because there's a bunch of grocery stores in the area. Hopefully they won't throw another Sam's Club order my way. Maybe we'll get like a Publix order that doesn't suck. And, uh... If nothing else, I gotta head back towards home anyway, so let's do that, and we'll see what's next. 703, let's roll! Uh-oh, new batch. Really? <laughs> Is this the exact same order? Looks like the exact same order to me. I don't know about you guys, but it was the last one. It was definitely $7. It was definitely no tip. I think it was 23 items, too. 
Why are you giving me the same crap, Inscart? That is not cool. The earning estimate includes a guaranteed Inscart payment of $7? Wow, that is way too generous. See right there? This zone has a batch payment minimum of... Well, good English, Inscart. Good English. A batch payment minimum of 4A shop only batch. So, there's no minimum. $5 for a delivery only batch and seven dollars for a shop and deliver batch which is what this is so like i said seven bucks is the lowest they can offer you that's always going to be a no-go batch skipped hmm where is the option for seven dollars is a joke i'm not seeing it I'll go with other can i type pay sucks exclamation point i mean that sums it up pretty well hit the old skip on that one though come on his car do better give me something better than that thank you that's very kind of you to remove that batch please do not offer me the same one again two is enough give it to someone else i'm sure it's just going to keep going around and around they're offering it to all their drivers or delivery people and everyone's like uh yeah no well my dudes it is now 741 and as you can see instacart is still looking for orders i'm actually back at my place now i came back here a while ago right after uh that last clip that you guys saw because i had a feeling this is kind of how it was going to go that there would, wouldn't be much tonight i don't know if this is how every night is with instacart if you guys do instacart and you've done night shifts in the past or maybe you do them regularly let me know how they go for you are they usually busier than this or is it this is how it usually goes where there's like no deliveries no batches and if you do get a batch or a delivery it's because <laughs> that's what i experienced tonight I don't think I'll be doing uh, any Instacart at night anytime soon because my question before I uh, started this shift at 6 was pretty much what Instacart was like at night and uh, I think I got my answer. It sucks. There's not much deliveries. The pay's not good. Is it worth it? No. At least not from tonight. This is only one time so obviously I don't have that much info to base my answer off of. But at the same time, this is all I have to go from. So uh, what did I learn from today? Not to accept any warehouse orders, which includes BJ, Sam's Club, Costco, stores like that. That was not worth it. Instacart offering $7 as a minimum for uh, orders that include shopping. It's kind of a joke. I don't know who would accept that. It seems like extremely low pay for what it is. I imagine that would have taken over an hour to do. I don't know how they justify that $7 minimum. I'm very curious to see if anyone ended up accepting that. Because like you guys saw, they offered it to me two separate times. And since then, a whole lot of nothing. So, uh, like I said, I don't think I'll be doing Instacart at night anytime soon. But as I also said a million times in this video, you live and you learn. I was curious to see how it would go at night. Because like I said at the beginning of the video, I don't think I've ever done it before. And now I know, I got my answer. So going forward, don't think I'll make that mistake again. At least not anytime soon. Unless some of you guys watching that do Instacart at night, maybe you'll tell me that's not how it normally is or usually it's a lot busier or the pay is a lot better. If that's the case, if I get a lot of comments like that, I'll probably give it another try. But uh, if I get a lot of comments that pretty much agree with how my night went, then uh, this is probably the end of Instacart at night for me. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna go back inside. I just came out here to film while well, I came out to actually went to go get some food for my family so now that i'm back i'm gonna go back inside do something else with the rest of my night this was a giant waste of time but uh sometimes you got to go out there and actually do something yourself to figure out whether or not it's worth it so maybe hopefully if this is the case if this is how it usually goes at night hopefully you guys can learn from my mistakes from my l's and don't do instacart at night at least that's my advice until i hear something different like i said if i get a ton of comments that are like my experience tonight is not usually how it goes then i don't know maybe we'll give it another try but for now that is it it's 744 if another batch pops up in the next 15 minutes uh i might accept it if they're if they're offering more than the seven dollar minimum that is we'll see though i have a feeling nothing's gonna pop up so that's probably the end of my shifts tonight anyways guys onward and upward so i'm gonna wrap this video up here i hope you guys learned something from it i know i did uh hope you enjoy the rest of your day thanks for watching i will catch you in the next video and as always stay limitless
Take a shot, you got everything you'll ever need You fought, you're not gonna let up on the speed Those knots, they got you, are only make-believe